Hi everybody, my name is Mark Wittsworth. I'm a developer on the HT Condor team with the Center for High Throughput Computing. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up and configure a basic HT Condor cluster. So in this cluster, we're going to have a network of three different computers. The first computer here is a submit machine. Uh, in an HD Condor cluster, this is the computer that a user will log into to submit work. Secondly, we have an execute machine over here. This is a machine that actually runs the jobs that the user submitted. Lastly, we have a central manager. The central manager's purpose is to match submitted jobs to execute compute resources. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to follow along with a tutorial that we have posted in our manual. I will include the link for this in the, uh, the write-up below. And I'm basically going to walk through these instructions here, and I'm effectively just going to copy and paste everything you see on the screen here into the uh, three computers that I've set up. So the first step is we have to install Condor. Uh, we install it from a repository. So I'm going to start by getting our signing key and putting that into all three of our machines. Most of these instructions that I'm going to do are are the same in all three computers, so I'm going to quickly tab through them. I will explain that certain times when things get a little different. So we've got our signing key. Next step is we need to go and import uh, import the RPM. And this is a pseudo command. Many of these are pseudo commands. All right. All right, next step is just go into the repositories directory. And somehow my terminal window got detached. All right, you're back in there. So now I'm going to go and import the repository. This will allow us to uh, install Condor directly from just using a simple yum command. All right, now that we have done that on all three of our computers, I'm going to go and actually install Condor. So let's start by doing this over here. It's going to take a minute. Let's just fire it up on all three of them. I think I might have to confirm in a second that it wants to install the different packages. All right. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, finally. All right, so at this point, I have now successfully installed the Condor platform on all three of my computers in my little network. Uh, this is, involves all the daemons that you need to run a, uh, run a cluster. So the next step is we have to configure our cluster. The first step is to tell all the computers which is the central manager. As I mentioned before, the central manager is a machine that matches submitted jobs to execute resources. So this is sort of the beating heart of our Condor cluster. So I'm going to take this command here. This command, it just dumps a little bit of text into a file. And in one little change, I'm my test network, but not using the dot mydomain.com, just using the short host name. So let's go and do that here. And here. And here. And 
Now, we also have to open up the firewall. So Condor demons typically talk to each other over port 9618. So we have to go and make that port open on all the different machines in our cluster. And now that we've added this new firewall rule, we want to go in here and just do a reload. All right, great. So everything I've done to this point was exactly the same on all three machines. So now what we have to go and do is configure each machine separately to play its own individual part in this cluster. So the first, and the way that we do this is by dropping in, creating a new configuration file uh, with a directive called use role. And that will basically make the machine uh, make auto configure with whatever things it needs to, to play that role in the cluster. So let's start with the submit machine, which is over here. Use role submit. Next, we have an execute machine. And when Condor starts, it's gonna see this file and it's gonna see the use role and it's gonna go and set all the different configuration options that it needs for the machine to, to do its thing. And the central manager, lastly, which is over here, the central manager needs one additional directive, and that's a, a bit of a security role here, just to explain who is allowed to talk to it. And once again, I'm just going to go and remove these mydomain.coms because they do not apply here. All right, great. So at this point here, we have three different machines that are all uh, configured to play their own part. Uh, the next step is security. We have to make sure that uh, everybody knows who's allowed to talk to who and, and nobody else. So the first thing I'm gonna do on all three computers is go and make a passwords folder. This is what already exists here. It already exists here and it already exists here. And I'm going to go and set the permissions on this folder. I guess I already did that on that one. Missed it here. All right, great. So now what we have to go and do is on all three computers, we have to go and create a new file right here, it's a security file. This contains all of the uh, different configuration that we need. We're doing uh, password-based security in this little test setup. So I'm gonna take, actually, I'm gonna start by taking this and I'm gonna go and let's make a new file. And we're gonna copy in all the security configuration as such. I think I missed, uh, I missed a letter up here. And once again, we're not using mydomain.com in this test network. So there's one. So let's go back over here and I'm going to copy the name of the file. Let's try and do this right this time. Let's copy this whole chunk of text. Insert, copy and remove mydomain.com. And lastly, the central manager. We're gonna go and make this file again. All right, and the last step in security is we have to go and store a credential. So this is a pool password that the computers will use to authenticate with each other. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna run this command. It's gonna say enter a password. It's asking me to create a password. I'm gonna use password. Do not do this in a production environment. And 
That's it. We have security configured and we are now ready to start Condor. So I'm, it is all service-based. I'm going to start over here and I'm just going to enable the service. And I'm going to go and start the service. So at this point here, we have a operational and running Condor cluster. So what you should be able to do to test and make sure that this works is I'm going to go to my submit node and I'm going to run a Condor queue. I'm just going to show what jobs have been um, submitted. There's nothing, no job submitted. I'm going to do Condor status and this is going to verify that I can access my execute nodes. Great. So here's Condor execute. It's coming up. So at this point, you now have an online and operational three node HD Condor cluster. Thanks for watching. Once again, I'm going to post the link for this video in the description below and everybody take care. Thanks.